Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jack here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customising and reviewing the brand new Ubermatch Revolta, which has just released in the Doomsday Host DLC. Now this vehicle is going to cost you a pretty penny at $1.6 million, which is fucking a ridiculous price for the type of vehicle that it is. Um, I don't think it offers much in the way of customization or performance, but stick with me with this video and we're going to see exactly what sort of customization we can do. So, without any further ado, guys, let's get into the LSC and see what sort of customizations we can do to this vehicle. So, you go, my dudes, as you pull into LS Customs, you'll see the Uber Max Revolta is in the sports category. Now, as always, guys, I'm going to start this build with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes. And for the engine, we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. Uh, explosives, we're going to skip past that. The, the customization options in this on this vehicle aren't great because we've skipped straight to the lights. And that's the first thing we've purchased out of all of these. So we've come past the engine, the explosive, and the horn so quickly. So there's no bumper change. Um, no fender change. No hood, hood change. Nothing. So at the moment, the... The customizations for this car are fucking abysmal. For the sort of price that you're paying, you expect it to be a lot, lot better. But we do get a livery option, and I'm not holding my hopes up for these liveries, and straight away, click on it, and look what we get. Fucking camo. Why the hell would you want to put a camo livery on a luxury vehicle like this? It makes no sense whatsoever. And another gripe I've got about this car while I'm at it is Ubermatch is supposed to be the... the um, it's supposed to be the parody of BMW uh, from real life. So Ubermatch is the parody version of BMW in GTA. And this doesn't look like a BMW to me, man. Not, not at all. If anything, it looks kind of like a luxury Chevrolet, I'd like to say. Um, I can't really put my finger on what type of vehicle they're supposed to be, but a fucking 100% not supposed to be a BMW. Looks nothing like a Beamer whatsoever. And these liveries... Why the fuck would you want to put that on a luxury vehicle like this? It makes no sense whatsoever. Um, yeah, so all camo, camo liveries. We've got a zebra livery and, you know, it just makes no sense whatsoever. Overpriced vehicle for 1.6 million with fucking hardly any customization. Um, you get these crazy liveries that make no sense. It's just... I don't get it. So, so far, I'm really disappointed with the customization and uh, definitely the price because it is too overpriced man it's fucking stupid um, but anyway we do move over to the respray is the next customization we get for it. I'm going to stay classic no actually fuck it let's go metallic why not let's go metallic and probably cream actually looks quite nice I might go cream with this yeah I'm going to go metallic cream for the primary colour and I'm going to go into secondary colour and also get metallic cream so then we do get the option to change the trim colour, which is obviously the interior. And the interior of this vehicle is actually really nice. The styling of this car, of this car is actually really good. The outside of it looks nice, the interior looks nice, but I'm a little bit peeved that it's got Ubermatch in the title when it's nothing like a BMW. And just the price as well, it's just fucking crazy, isn't it? Um, but for the interior, I think it looks okay in graphite, so yeah, I'm going to leave it graphite. So next we've got the transmission, we're going to get the race transmission, and for the turbo we're going to get the turbo tuning. Next we've got the wheels, fuck me. So we don't even get a suspension upgrade, holy crap. So we're going to go to the wheels, wheel type. The stock wheels are actually really nice, um, but I am going to change them. I'm going to go into the SUV, into the chrome, and we're going to purchase these cutter rims. They're 66 grand, man, so they're very expensive, um, but they look the fucking bollocks, man. They look really nice, especially in chrome. So yeah, we're going to grab hold of them. And once we're here, guys, we're going to go into the tyres and purchase the bulletproof tyres. And to finish off the build, as always, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So you go, my dudes, there is my build on the brand new Ubimatch Revolta, which is just released into GTA Online. Now, overall, this car is really, really pretty. It's very nice looking. Uh, the customizations, I well, the... the <laughs> the very slight customizations I've done, I think, are, are actually really nice with the colour and the, and the rims. So, overall... The way it looks is fucking really nice. I love the way it looks. It's a four-door. Um, the new rims look nice. The colour looks nice. Them tail lights are fucking awesome. But the customization... There's n pretty much zero customization. You can't change the exhaust. You can't change any of the bumpers. You can't change the side skirt. You can't change the hood. Man, it's just ridiculous that you can't change anything really about it which is a, a massive shame and at 1.6 million dollars man that is just fucking stupid um but what i'm going to do quickly now is have a little drive and see how it performs now to start with it actually feels really quick off the acceleration you see how it's just picking up speed really nicely so maybe it's, that maybe it will be competitive well i doubt it'll be competitive but it will probably be 
pretty good in the sports class. I probably wouldn't use it for a race because obviously it's definitely not going to be beating an energy. Let's, let's face it. Um, but yeah, you know, straight off the bat, the the acceleration is really good. You can just see that how quickly it's picking up speed. But the big thing is is how it goes around a corner and um, how what the top speed's like. So whoa, the brakes seem pretty good. <laughs> but if we just quickly maybe I don't know go around this fucking let's pull a U let's pull a Yui. Now that held quite nicely. That was okay. So the handling feels good, the acceleration feels good, top speed is hard to judge but it feels okay. I think it's going to be a pretty good car to drive around in free mode but would you really want to spend uh, 1.6 million dollars on a car just to drive around free mode which has no sort of like armour so there's no going to be no explosive resistance, no bulletproof resistance or no bullet resistance shall I say. Um, I highly doubt it's going to be any good in races so that's going to be a no-go. So it's going to be one point. That's going to, well, it's a 1.6 million flop at the end of the day. It, the only thing, the only redeeming feature that this car has got is the way it looks. The way it looks is fucking beautiful. It's so nice. I can't take that away from it. It is a really, really nice looking car. Rockstar have done good on that. But I'll tell you one thing they haven't done good on is the price. 1.6 million is fucking ridiculous for the type of vehicle that it is. It's only in the sports class. It's not that great. It looks really nice. The acceleration is fucking rapid. But you got to take in consideration everything else like the price that like I keep mentioning because I'm really annoyed that there's so so much money um, because they're just ripping people off at that point you know Rockstar are, are just ripping people off for a car that's 1.6 million dollars it's not worth it if you want a, a, a luxury a luxury four door in the sports class you could buy like was it the Shafter is it the Shafter V12 I think it's I think it's that I think it's the Shafter V12 it looks like a Mercedes um, that's pretty much the same sort of vehicle as this, but it's a fraction of the price. It's like not even two hundred thousand dollars. You know what I mean? It's just fucking crazy. Rock. It just really annoys me that Rockstar are releasing cars like this and tricking people into spending their real money on shark cars to buy this type of shit. So I'm, you know, I'm just really annoyed at that. But Rockstar did get one thing right with this car, and it was the looks. Obviously, they got the looks right, so to draw people in and um, and to buy it. You know, at the end of the day. But I'm telling you guys now, it's not worth it. Do not buy it. So anyway, guys, that's going to be my rant. That's going to be over, you know. And um, I've only got one more thing to do with this vehicle just before I leave you guys in this video. And that is to sell the motherfucker because it is not worth $1.6 million. Yeah, I know I must have lost quite a bit of money. Probably lost about a million dollars on this car, you know, after buying it and customising it, which is disgusting. And I'm now selling it for half the price. You know, it's fucking disgusting. But I'm redeeming something out of this motherfucker. Because Rockstar are just trying to rip people off at this point with this type of vehicle. And uh, it's not on. So I'm here to warn everybody not to buy this vehicle. So, goodbye you fucking piece of shit. See you later. And it's gone. Vehicle sold. And that's the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please give me a two sweet. And until next time guys, I'm out. Adios. Adios.